Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to talk about why I switched to planning my day in Tana using Calendar View and how you can set your day up for maximum energy and ease, even if you hate the idea of time blocking. So I have never been a time block kind of planner. I always thought it was just too rigid and inflexible for my creative brain and the way that I work. But since switching to a calendar view to plan my day, I found I can move through my day with so much more ease and creativity than any other way that I used to plan. So here's a couple of reasons why I changed my mind on time blocking. Firstly, it's a really nice sanity check. So I used to just write a big long list of tasks that I needed to do each day and just like hope I would get them all done. Seriously, I'd get to the end of the day and say, maybe tomorrow I'll do better. But when you have to position your tasks on a finite period of time, you quickly realize you've completely overshot the mark and you have to renegotiate. So the second thing is that it keeps me way more focused and motivated throughout the day. There is nothing like seeing that little red line move down through the day to keep you focused in the present moment and remind you of what you committed to do at that exact time. So number three, and this one surprised me so much, is that I actually have so much more creative space in my day because of planning this way. So rather than feeling overwhelmed by all the tasks that I thought that I needed to do and constantly making decisions every moment as to what I should be doing right now, I just spend some time in the morning making one decision about what my day looks like. And then I'm freed up for the rest of the day just to move within those boundaries. And I'm finding I find more flow, I'm more creative because my mind is freed from all the decisions of what should I do right now. And finally, I feel like a winner at the end of every day. Like instead of getting to the end of my day with a big long list of tasks that I never got to, on good days, I actually get to the end of my day and either finish all my tasks or most of them, and I feel like a total winner. And the more you do this, like every day that you do it, it just creates this compounding effect and confidence in yourself that what you commit to actually gets done. So now that I've hopefully convinced you that time blocking is the way to go, I wanna show you typically how I plan a day using this method and then show you how you can set it up in your own Tana workspace to do the same. So let's jump into it. Firstly, everything starts on my daily page and I actually have a live search set up called the Daily Navigator, okay? So I don't like to call it my daily agenda. I like to call it a navigator because it keeps me on track and going in the right direction. So um, this is just a live search that searches for anything that has a time block of today, all right? So there's a whole lot of different tasks here and there's a whole lot of meetings that I have to do. Now, I'm gonna show you a little bit later about how you can get things in to this view, but for now, I just wanna show you how I work. So the first thing that I do is I put meetings on the calendar. Meetings are like your big rock in your day. They usually are movable and you have to learn to work around them. So that's the first thing I do. And uh, basically when I create a meeting, I just give it a time block day. So it ends up here in all day. And then I can move it down into what time that actually is going to happen. So I've got a meeting this afternoon that I have to do at one o'clock, all right, uh, a meeting with Tanya. And then I've also got to go to the Apple store. Um, and so I'm going to do that at 11. It's going to take me a little bit longer than half an hour. So that, oops, that is it. All right. So meetings are the things that you should put in first when you're doing any kind of time blocking. The second thing I do is I look for the big tasks that need to get done. So I try and have like one to two big tasks that are going to take, you know, anywhere from 60 to 90 minutes in my day. And I wanna put them in first because if you try and put them in last, it's hard to work around all those little things that you need to do. So I try and just plan kind of some deep work time blocks throughout the day. So it's easy because all of my tasks that I have planned to do today are already here. And I do that in my weekly planning session. So when I plan my week, I've got all of the tasks that I need to do within that week. And I kind of allocate different ones to different days, depending on 
uh, how I feel, uh, what I work on on those, during, on, on those days, and kind of what I know is already on. So it's really good because they already show up here and all I have to do is just drag them down. So um, I would choose uh, one to two things that I know are going to be big. So today is a content planning day. So I bring that down and let's say I want to work on that and I need at least two hours of deep work to do that particular thing. So I just kind of move it around, give it kind of a time block, and then I know that's my time, that's my, my time to do weekly content planning. Uh, the next one is I have to uh, create a landing page, okay? So that's another kind of big creative chunk of time that I'm probably gonna need. So I'm gonna put that in the afternoon uh, because so we can just drag it down here uh, because I can work on that down here. So I'm going to work on that from two till four. And that's another kind of two hour block. All right. So now I've got my meetings and I've got my big tasks and then I can put kind of little tasks in around that. So um, I uh, let's say I've got a bit of time in here. We're just going to drag some things. So I've got to uh, write my weekly newsletter. Yeah, let's put that in there. That can be a little half hour. Um, I got to do something with a bump offer. That's another half hour. And so I just start to move all of these down. Now, as you can start to see, uh, there's still a whole lot of things up here and a whole lot of not time on the calendar. And that's where kind of the third part of my planning comes in. So the third part is what I call the sanity check. And this is what was always missing when I just kept a big long list of things in my day. So I would have this long list and hope that I could get through it and like, you know, really hustle to get there. But when you have to like fit things in and say, okay, well, this is going to take this long to do. And I've only got now another hour to do things. Then you realize very quickly that you've overscheduled your day. And so what I do is I get to this point and I go, okay, sanity check. Can I fit everything in that I said I was going to fit in? Do I need to renegotiate some things? Do I need to call my friend Tanya and say, hey, I've got a super busy day. Can we re reschedule? Or I might say, you know what? I'm going to do half weekly content today, half weekly content tomorrow. So it's basically a renegotiation based on facts and based on reality and based on what you at the time you actually have. And so then the last thing I do is I just control click this to get it into the right sidebar. And this lives every day on the right. Um, and I can see exactly where I am throughout the day with that little red line. Um, but I can work in here and do whatever else that I need to do. So before I get into actually how to set up your daily agenda, if this video resonates and you want to learn more about how you can find more ease and energy throughout your day, then I highly suggest checking out my Tana Fast Track course. Not only are you going to get up to speed on the fundamentals of Tana really fast, but I walk you through the six core workflows that you're going to need in your Tana workspace to unload your thoughts and ideas find more space in your head and in your day to create and do your best work and move through your day with such an energy and an ease that you find ultimate flow. So the course itself consists of four modules with eight hours of video content, plus six core templates that you can install into your Tana workspace to get up and running really fast. Plus you get access to monthly office hours, Tana insider content that I don't post anywhere else on the internet, and the Tana Fast Track community. So if you're getting nowhere really fast watching YouTube tutorials like this one, even though they're really good, and you wanna get serious about using Tana to find ultimate flow in your work and your life, I highly suggest checking out the Tana Fast Track course. I will leave a link in the description below and you can check it out. So now you've seen how I plan my day using a calendar view in Tana, let me show you how you can set this up for yourself. It's super easy. The first thing that you need to do is you want, you want to create a new field and we're going to call it agenda. Okay. So the best uh, place to add this field is into your meeting tag. Cause you're going to have, that's going to be the first thing that you add every single day. So in your meeting super tag, just press configure and come on over and create a new field and call it agenda. All right. This field we're going to configure just by clicking this button as a date field. Okay, easy. 
All right, so anytime you add a date to this field, it's gonna show up in your daily navigator. Now, wherever or whatever you want to add to your agenda, you need to add this field, right? So for instance, if we wanna add tasks to our agenda, all we have to do, if we click out of meeting, is add the same field to our task super tag. So come to configure, come all the way down, create a new field, and just type agenda and find the one that's in meeting, okay? So you're reusing the same field in a different super tag. And so now you can add anything within that field and it's going to show up in the agenda view, all right? So do that for anything that you wanna to add to agenda, meetings, tasks, and whatever other super tags that you feel you will need in your agenda. The second thing that we wanna do is create a command that adds something to our today agenda. So if we need to do it today, we can click the button and it adds it to today. So what you wanna do is create a node and call it whatever you like. Mine is agenda today. So I know that I'm adding something to today's agenda. And then just go command K and change that or convert that to a command node. All right, so now this is a command and we can configure the command. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go at and you're gonna find the relative date command, okay? So what this is gonna do is anytime you click this button, it's going to add today's date to the agenda field. So it's really easy to configure. All we have to do is in relative date string, we're gonna type today, okay? Super easy. Then you're gonna come over to where it says relative date string and you're just gonna press enter and we're gonna create a new field. And this one, we want to put a date time granularity, okay? In here, all we're gonna do is we're gonna say day, all right? What that's gonna do is when we say that we want today's date, it's just gonna put in a day, all right? It's not gonna add the time, anything like that, it's just day. Then we're gonna add a new field and we want to put the target node in here. All right, so the target node, what we're gonna do is go back and open up our meeting and we're going to grab the link to this particular field, okay? Because we want the date to go inside this agenda field. So just go Command K and press uh, type link and get link to that node and then we're gonna paste it in here. And that's all that you have to do, all right? So if we close that up and if we come to new meeting, I can go Control, and I can find that agenda. Okay, that's our command. We just named it agenda today. And guess what? We, that is now the date of today in the agenda field. That is as easy as setting up a command needs to be. But you might not always want to press Command K to get something uh, like a meeting or a task into your agenda. So what you can do is you can actually add this command as a button. So if you come over to your meeting super tag and press configure, the way to add a button to any super tag is just to come all the way down and go to advanced and you will find a command field. And what we wanna do is we wanna take this agenda today command, press Command K and find the link Okay, and then just paste it in here. What that's gonna do is now, anytime you create a new meeting and you tag it with meeting, the button is there and you can just press that to add it to the today's agenda. So the very last thing that we need to do is actually create our daily navigator view. So what you wanna do is you want to create a node that just says daily navigator, daily agenda, whatever you want to call it. And we are going to convert this into a search. So what you're going to want to do is go command K and we're going to find the nodes. And you would usually find a node with a super tag, but what we're going to do is actually go find nodes with a field. And we're going to find our field, which was agenda. And we want to find one that has any value in it. Okay, and then we're gonna view it as a list. So what that's gonna do is bring up any node with any super tag that has the field agenda and has something within that agenda. So then all you're gonna to wanna to do is change the view of this to a calendar, all right? You want to change it today. 
And then you can do a couple of different things, okay? So we want to make sure that the date field is a gender, okay? That's the first one. And then you want to come and you want to put your day length in, okay? So this is really important. You probably don't want 24 hours. You can't fill 24 hours up. So uh, I usually start my day at five. Sounds weird, but I just do. Um, and I do work from five and then I finish my day around eight o'clock. So those are kind of like the times that I like, but you might have some different times. You might only want to see nine till five. You might, might want to see longer, shorter. You set it up however you like to set it up. So once you have your daily navigator search set up, you can then add that to your day tag. So it shows up every day. So what you want to do is go to your daily page and find your day tag, click on configure. And then once you're there, you can add this anywhere. Okay. So just come to your daily navigator. If we just open that up and find the link to it. And then come back up here and you might want to add it right to the top. Okay. So it's right at the top. No, that's not that one. Okay, so now it's here at the top and whatever day that you're in, it's going to show up on that day. And that means that every day when you open your day page, it's right there ready to go for you. And so that's how you can set up time blocking in Tana quickly, easily, and add anything to your agenda so that you can get it done every single day. So I hope I have inspired you to check out time blocking again, even if you've given up on it in the past. And if you've liked this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because I create videos like this every single week on how to find your ultimate flow using Tana. And remember, if it resonated with you, please check out the Tana Fast Track course. I would love to see you on the inside.